That is nice, guys. Check it out. Fully functioning Glock 17 in your LSPDFR game. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another LSPDFR tutorial and in today's video we are installing the Glock 17 by Fluffy Mods. So this is what we are going to be putting in our game. So the first things you need is obviously the Glock 17 by Fluffy Mods and Open IV. So uh, be sure to install this. Just hit this big download now green button right there. Just hit that. I'm not going to install it only because I already have it installed but trust me it is very very simple. Just just click on the exe file that downloads uh, hit continue accept the agreements and continue again and just download it it's, it's very easy to install uh, once you get it installed just be sure to have a shortcut on your desktop or on your taskbar and then from there you can go ahead and download the Glock 17 by fluffy mod so we're gonna go ahead and hit download it'll take a few seconds here and then we'll go ahead and open up the file all right, so we have the Glock 17 downloaded and I have the file up right here. One thing I wanted to point out on this page is if I go back and you guys look at the front page of Fluffy Mods' Glock 17, one thing is he, he tells you about it, but also he shows you and tells you how to install it right here. Let me highlight it. So single player install. Uh, this is the path file in OpenIV that we're going to go to. So that's mods, update, x64, DLC packs, patch day, 8NG, DLC.RPF, x64, and so on. So we're going to to be sure to remember this so don't exit out of this but unless you're following the video you can uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this up for my sake so I know where to go so I'm just gonna minimize Google Chrome here bring up my Glock 17 file okay so once you have the file installed just go ahead and open up open IV and hit Windows under Grand Theft Auto 5 so I believe this is the first time we're using OpenIV in order from our tutorials. So this will be a good little learning curve to OpenIV. So I'm just going to adjust this window just so you guys can see it. All right. So obviously this looks like a lot, but honestly, this whole front page is just your GTA 5 directory. It looks like a whole bunch. It's just organized differently. Like if I were to open up my directory, it's exactly like it just formatted differently. It's it's, it's just under its uh, categories. You have OpenIV open. We can go ahead and just hit edit mode right at the top right here. And one thing you have to do is make sure under tools that you have ASI manager installed. All these have to be installed. If not, just hit install. And once you do that, just hit close. Uh, so what you got to do from here is you have to create a mods folder. So as you can see, I have a mods folder right here. If you don't have one, just be sure to right click in here, hit new folder and rename it mods, all lowercase, just like that. And you can even do that in the normal directory. Now, one thing I do recommend in the mods folder is that you drag and drop the update folder into the mods. So you're going to copy and paste update into your mods folder. So I'm going to repeat that. You're going to copy this. So I'm going to copy update in your directory. You could also do it in here, I think, but I will do it from the normal directory. So you're going to copy update. Okay. You're going to open up the mods folder and you're going to paste it in here. So I already have that done. Uh, it may take a few minutes for those that have a slower uh, hard drive or SSD. It all depends on your speed on that. So moving on, you can exit out of your GTA 5 directory once that is moved over. So once you have your update folder in there, you are ready to move on. So remember, copy update folder into mods folder. Don't move it there. All right. You want to copy it. Once you have that done, we're going to open up the fluffy mods Glock 17 and you'll see all these right here. It also even has the lined up iron sights, which we are going to do because if we don't do it, your iron sights don't line up in first person, which sometimes people like to use first person. We are not doing 5M, we are doing single player. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on single player right here. And then obviously we have the weapon components.meta right there. We have the readme for the tutorial. So actually, you know what? We could just use this. I'm gonna keep this to the side for myself. I put this right there. And that means I could just exit out of Google. I'm going to double click on the files and we are just going to do the pistol. We have other options here, but we're just doing pistol because that's literally the only one that matters. So we're going to double click on that. And now you can see all the files that are going to go into open IV. Looking back at this notepad, we are going to follow this file path. So you could do this with me. We're going to go to mods, update, x64, DLC packs, patch day 8ng. You're probably going to have a lot more folders, but for me, I only have these. 
because I just deleted the rest of them because these are the only ones that matter to me. So 8NG, we're going to double click on this. DLC.RPF, X64, Models, CD Images, Weapons.RPF. So we are going to drag and drop these all into here. If you don't want to throw them in just like this, you can definitely search up the pistol that you're dragging in. Like I could just type in W underscore PI underscore pistol and you will see the pistol that we're replacing. Obviously it has the uh, Lux pistol in there and the pistol 50, but we can also see what it's replacing. So if you look over here, this one, WPI pistol. So this is the Glock 17. If we look at the WPI pistol, an open IV. If we double click on this, this is the OG pistol. All right. So you're looking at it now. So what we're going to do, you don't have to type that in, by the way, you don't have to. So I'm going to, I'm just going to start from here. We're going to start from scratch, just from right here at this whole list. We're going to take all these highlight, left click, hold, drag and drop in this white space. Shebang replaced. So now we could check by typing that in, which is what I did before W underscore PI underscore pistol. And if I double click on it, we now have the Glock 17 inside the game. So there's one more step is that we have to get these iron sights to line up. Well, obviously it doesn't look like uh, there's a problem now, but once you get inside the game and you go into first person, you're going to see it. So what we're going to do is just go back a few pages in the file and we're going to find the weapons components dot meta. So we got to install this. So we also have the file path for that. So we're actually going to go straight back to the main page up here. We're just going to click on GTA five. We're going to start from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to mods again, update, update dot RPF, common data, AI. So you're just going to take this. You're going to drag and drop it right in shebang all good so now that we have that installed we can go ahead and line up the iron sights we're going to go back a page on the file we're going to double click on the lined up iron sights text so we're going to bring that up it's going to pop up as a notepad i'm going to enlarge this just a little bit because you're going to want to see it all right so it looks like quite a bit so we have two options here you have the combat pistol and you have just the regular pistol we only worry about the regular pistol right this is all we need what we're going to do is we're going to access the weapons dot meta so that is right here. That's right here. So we're going to right click on this. We're going to hit edit. And on the search bar right here on the search, you're going to click on search. You're going to type in pistol and then you're going to use these little arrows right here to filter on down. You're going to click on search down. Just keep on going until you find the pistol that we're looking for, which I believe is right here. We found it. So once you find it, just stay right there and you're going to look for something that looks similar to this. So it starts at camera FOV. So we're going to look back in open IV and we're going to scroll on down until we find that point. So we're going to keep on going down. There it is right there. It's at line 4815. So camera FOV right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all this. You're going to copy this So right click copy and you got to remember it ends at zoom factor for accurate mode so we're gonna be sure to highlight from camera fov down to zoom factor for accurate mode right there all right so zoom factor accurate mode camera fov zoom factor for accurate mode camera fov and then we're just gonna paste fixed iron sights are lined up and that's it you can exit out of everything you now have the glock 17 by fluffy mods this is the main glock that i use in all my streams and videos so you guys now have it we're gonna go ahead and hop into the game and check it out all right, we are inside GTA 5 with LSPDFR loaded up and we are on duty so let's go ahead and open up the weapon wheel and see if we have the pistol Shabang! There we go! We got it! Look at that! Let's go ahead and go into first person and check this out. Oh my gosh. That's nice. That is nice, guys. Check it out. Fully functioning Glock 17 in your LSPDFR game. Now, you want to use the iron sights, you just got to scroll in and it changes. As you can see, the iron sights are lined up though. So, you can hit shots more accurately. So, that's good. I'm hitting this garbage bag straight on point. So that is pretty much it, guys. Really hope you did enjoy and learn a lot from this LSPDFR tutorial. There will definitely be more coming out. Planning on doing vehicles for the next tutorial, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it's going to be a big one. So if you haven't already, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.